From Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire, Ladder 3 rolls into the semis with Aaron St. Cyr from Haverhill, Massachusetts returning for his second week to challenge number two qualifier Dean Sullivan from Manchester, New Hampshire next as Al Johnson presents Candle Pins for Cancer, brought to you by Valley Chair. Welcome to Candlepin Bowling, brought to you by Candlepins for Cancer. We had another great match last week where Aaron St. Cyr defeated Jeff Surrett, 373 to 348. We have another match. He's going to bowl Dean Sullivan this week. Why don't we bring up our rollers? Aaron, you had a great win last week, defeating one of the game's best bowlers you have another tough competitor in Dean Sullivan uh, what are your thoughts going into this match well I'm bowled with Dean at Worlds uh, he's a very tough competitor. Um, I really really just got to stay on the head pin again uh, he always gives it his all so he's always ready to go I got to keep the same mentality Dean's a tough one I've bowled him on television before he's not going to give he's not going to give you any leeway so, Dean, uh, first time on our program. We're looking forward to having you. You've been on a, a couple other shows, King of the Palace. We call it, used to call you the Dean of the Palace, you know. So uh, no stranger to being under the lights, uh, bowling against a ni nice up-and-comer here in Aaron St. Cyr. What are your thoughts coming into the match today? It'll be a fun match. Aaron's a good bowler. He can throw the ball good. He, the pinfall will determine everything. What is it you like to say? You throw the ball and let the pins fall? Is that That's what it is? Exactly All right. right all right, so let's have some fun today. Oh, always have some fun. All right. I think Jeff Surrett should sign the score sheet from the last match so he can have it framed. Well, I, I may, well, I, well, that, that is a good idea. Maybe, uh, maybe he should sign his and have it sent to Jeff. How about that? I think he might say that. I, well, I don't know. What are your thoughts? It's a nice counter offer. I like that. Hey, let's have. All right. Well, I like the idea. Let's have some fun with this match. What do you say, guys? Starting off our first string, Aaron St. Cyr, starting on lane 33. Aaron hits the 1-3 and right, doesn't really have much to show for it. The 5, 7, 8, and 10. Oh, he gives it a bid, leaves the 7. After seeing the shot he made last week, that 4, 8, 9, 10, you may remember. Wouldn't surprise me if he makes anything at this point. A little bit of a skip lob there for a 9 box. Aaron from Haverhill, Haverhill, Massachusetts, home of the old uh, Pilgrim Lanes. Oh, that was a great place to bowl. That was one of my favorites. Wow. That. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that used to be the two pin. It, it, it's amazing to me that that can physically happen. Slide to the left. And he still, <laughs> he still manages <laughs> to take out just the front one. It, it, just a wild game sometimes. Does a nice job for a nine out of it. 18 for two boxes. We get our first look at Dean Sullivan. And Dean from Manchester, New Hampshire. He's been bowling for over 50 years. Don't ask him how old he is. His high single is a 193. His high triple is a 450. And his high five is a 711. Uh, his current average is listed as blank, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say he, Dean's easily a 120, I would say. I, I would agree with that. 
He bowls the Sunday once a month up at Exeter. Uh, Dean's a fine bowler. And Addy makes a great shot. Makes a fine shot. He's bowled at Worlds for many years. Uh, he's uh, out, won Outrun the Bear twice, uh, one of the great tournaments that we're going to talk about a little bit more a little later on in the program. Uh, King of the Palace, as I mentioned in the pregame, uh, the old uh, new Palace Leans in Fitchburg. He always bowled very well up there. So Dean is uh, no stranger to pressure situations and, and TV situations. And also a really fun guy. It's off the head pin a little bit on the fill, gets five. He gets the nine box, 24 through two, the early six pin lead on Aaron St. Cyr. So that'll bring up Aaron. Wait a second, wait oh. another second, wait a third second. Can there be a third second? But easily could have been the three, the spread eagle with, without minus the seven pin. Turns into a seven, seven fill, just misses it on the outside, leaves the two, the three pin. Yeah, so From, just, just nine there for Aaron. Got a run of three on nines here. Uh, Aaron St. Seal, like I said, is from Haverhill, Massachusetts, averaging 116. He's got a high single of 160, high triple 432. Balls in the Friday Pro League, the Sunday Night Mixed League at Academy. Will the six fall? It looked like it moved off its spot a bit. And uh, he is the teen center director for the uh, Boys and Girls Club. And a 10 box, 37 through four. Steen steps up on lane 33. Now, a teen center director, you said Aaron does. Uh, that sounds like something that would be both fun and a complete headache at the same time. I, I, I could definitely see that. Dean now on 33. Off to the right, the four horsemen on the left-hand side with the 10 pin. That's got a little bit of help there, although the way where that wood is, I don't. Now that it's touching the head pin, it's it's difficult to carry all four. Got to really plow through it, and he does carry the four. Will the wood have? Oh, I don't just think ran it's out of enough. real estate. And a nine box. Opposite Aaron's 10 box here. Back on the head pin. Wow, turned into nothing really quick. The 3 7 10 with really just two pieces of wood in the gutter. Can't use those. Ah, and he goes through the hole. You can in certain countries. Huh. I was not aware. Well, neither was I. Oh, he almost, oh, that's, almost that's makes nice it for a nine. 10. Shout out to uh, our friends up in Canada that get that joke. <laughs> that's uh, one inside the vessel, which we don't do much of here. We're trying to keep this... Uh, as outward as we can. <laughs> if you're not familiar with the rules, we'll try to explain them as, as we go along. 
Heron with a great ball, leaves the five pin, it's wiggling. Boy, and that is a wiggling five pin. Looking to pick up his first bear of the match. And he does. And he does. You know what I like about the five pin, Jeremy, is that you, you've just thrown a great ball right down the middle. All you have to do is do it again. You just did it a moment ago. That's all. That's all, right. That's all. That's at least what I tell myself when I'm trying to throw the five pin. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can remember what he did with that five pin ball. Just off to the right, but that's going to be a nice mixing ball. Winds up with 17 on the on it, so he's got the one, four, or the one, two, and four. Uh, misses outside. Just looking, to clean outside. This, looking to clean this up. That'll be a nine box. That's a better ball to finish out with. Going into the break with 63, yes. 63 through 6. So Dean on 42. Dean taking a little extra time, knows these are two big boxes. Is the eight going to fall forward? Boy, does it want to. Looks like it wants to fall. Eh, it looked like that one moved off the spot a little bit, too. I think too. so. Oh, and he's, he's just still, still managed to cherry pick it, and, and that eight pin is still wobbling. And he'll get the nine box. 51 at the halfway point for the string. off the headpin again, gets three with his first ball. Uh, he punches through, punches through the headpin. Just want to give a shout out to Lexi and everyone, the staff here at Lita Lanes in Nashua for hosting our show. They've been nothing but great hosts for us. Uh, great Candlepin Center, has got 36 lanes of bowling, the pool tables, arcades, we said Kegler's Den has some great food and drinks uh, across the parking lot. We have Lita's Lighthouse, has 12 more lanes of glow bowling, and some host some great birthday parties. That's a great place to host one. Um, they accommodate all kinds of things, so this is a great place to come down uh, for whatever you're looking for, all of the above there. Yeah. And we're going to take a quick break with our sponsors, and we will continue with the conclusion of the first string when we come back. We have a five-pin lead for Aaron St. Cyr as he starts on his seventh box on lane 33. So he goes right through the middle, leaves the three, the two, the three and the two. Like This is always a, a I hear different ways to, to play this shot. Oh, there have been... Uh Countless arguments. I'd say, I, well, not arguments, but you know, like discussion. hearty, hearty discussions <laughs> over what to play. And you know, it, a lot of it depends on the situation. You know, in his situation there, there was a piece of wood in the gutter, which may, in, you know, uh, maybe influence the way that you play the shot. It's just a to each their own, I guess. I think that's what we all agreed on. <laughs> <laughs> just hope you never see it. That's all. Exactly. And while he won't see that, he's going to see a difficult one with the three, four, and six. We'll see if the wood cooperates. If it sits there, it can't hurt him. Oh, he makes a great bid. Leaves the leaves the four pin. Are they? Yeah, the four pin. And 
at nine box as Dean Sullivan takes the approach. I believe Dean works in construction. Dean is a foreman in the construction business. He's also into hunting, fishing, and golf. Another head pin hit leaves the two, the six, and the eight. Or is it? Wow. I'm terrible on my pins today. It's it's two, four, six. Two, four, six. But that's okay. I think you were thinking of two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? That was in my head. Well, if it isn't, it is now. Well, it is now. And that'll that be a, a nine. That a nine box puts him at 67 through seven. So each of our bowlers trying to get something going here. Dean off the head pin, gets four with his first ball. He's got the four horsemen with the seven and the nine. Okay, that one I'm sure of. Oh, and he punches through the head pin. Leaves a cluster of four on the right in the seven Twi pin. Twice on 34, we've seen an important second ball blow right through the middle for just the head pin. Important pins here for Dean. And a good nine box. Nicely done. Is it 76 through eight? A four pin lead for Aaron St. Cyr. So 80 to 76 here. Coming home in the first two, or the first game here, the last two boxes. Yeah, both bowlers seem to struggle to hit the head pin. Fortunately for both of them, the other haven't really been able to kind of get it going. Outside, oh, and Aaron carry. That's breaks a nice through. shot. That could be the shot that breaks it open. Nicely done on the outside. One into the two, into the ten. And he puts nine on the spare. Second piece of wood makes things interesting here. Both of them up on the on the lip. He's gonna have to try to drive it home. And he does. Oh, he that's makes a, a great shot. That's a really great shot. Anywhere to the left of that red line was really trouble town. Timely pair from Saints here while both bowlers were kind of stagnant. Nice to come home with a pair of marks. Especially with a fill here. Uh, and a tough three fill. Finishes with 112, but still two massive marks right there. If you'd have asked him going into the la those last two, if you wanted 112, he'd have taken the 112. It's a really nice finish for St. Cyr. That'll force Dean to have a couple of marks coming home to try to keep pace. Good first ball, leaves the seven pin. It's got a little bit of a guy with it. Well, that piece of wood wants to, wants to be in front a little bit. Goes oh, right and he makes it. A nice shot. That's a great shot. Sneaks right, right by. Almost as if the wood wasn't there. It's a beautiful shot from Dean Sullivan. And a timely one as well. It's funny how it works. Your opponent goes open, sometimes you go open. Your opponent throws a few marks, you throw a few marks. The game can be contagious. And we go half Worcester through the left, the left side. Would call that Candlepin's biggest buzzkill. 
followed by just about the second biggest. That's a tough one uh, with your second that, ball. This is going to be a tough out for Dean. Uh, the tough six box, 94 first string. Aaron St. Cyr with the 18 pin, 18 pin lead after the first string, 112 to 94. Uh, we're going to take a break before the second string for a word from our sponsors, and we'll be back for game number two. Dean will start off game number two. Had a tough string, the first string, 94. Leaves the high-low jack. It's got a piece of wood out next to the head pin. Still gonna have to hit the head pin first. Oh, maybe not. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dove uh, right in front of the 10. Wow. And he'll pick up the 10 box. Good 10. Dean looking to kind of compose himself. He was only down 18 pins coming into the uh, second string here, which could be a lot worse. And there's the nine pin off the spot. Alfie going out to check that piece of wood. For those who may not know, there is a line 12 inches from the lip of the pin deck. 12 inches out, that's the deadwood line. If any, any part of the pin is touching it, that pin has to be removed. Looking to clean this up. He'll get the nine box. It'll be a nine. At 19 for two. As Aaron St. Cyr looks to start off just as hot as he finished the first string. And he's back on the head pin. A little full, leaves the Leaves the two, the four, the six, and the ten. Hits his object pin, which was the, the, the two pin. It would be a seven to start the second string. Well, they say all good games start with seven. I've been told that as well. Seems counterintuitive. My thought process is I just threw a seven. That's <laughs> <laughs> not exactly what we were looking for to start. Well, something to work with here. He's got the one, two, eight, and ten. Gives it a good bit, leaves the 10 pin. As you would like to put it, just have to do a little bit of house cleaning here. 17 for two, early two pin lead in the string for Dean Sullivan. Just wanna thank Alfie Johnson for putting this, this whole production together, his, uh, his charity, Candle Pins for Cancer. Is, is, you know, the driving force behind the show. That it, it supports bowlers, their families who are fighting cancer, you know, with money to help pay for treatments. You know, if you're not able to pay your bills because you're out of work because of your treatments, it's, it's a fantastic, fantastic charity. He, they've given over $12,000 to those in need. You can 
donate electronically through CandlepinsForCancer.com. That's Candlepins, the number four. Great shot by Dean right there. Beautiful shot by Dean, the four six. Send it over like nothing, beautifully done. Go on, Jeremy, please. Yeah, uh, Candlepins, four, number four, cancer.com. We'll soon be uh, accepting those electronic donations for the time being. If you want to donate, please send a check to, to Al Johnson at 467 High Street, number eight, Hampton, New Hampshire, 03842. And if you see one of those wooden pins at your local bowling center, uh, if you have a couple bucks to throw in, throw in a couple dollars. Every dollar helps. All that money goes straight back to the bowling community, from the bowling community, and that's what this show is all about. So we appreciate any donations uh, that you may consider donating. It's, uh, it all goes back to all of us. So it really is uh, heartfelt when you do something like that to donate to a, a cause such as Alfie's and Candle Pins for Cancer. So thank you guys for tuning in, and thank you for all of your donations. And Dean's going to settle for a nine box there. there. Now, he's got 45 through four boxes. As Aaron's looking to break through uh, for the first time this string. So the good mark in the fill by Dean when he's chasing the 18 pins here early in the second string. Could provide a little bit of pressure here for Aaron Saints here. Oh, Man, okay. that's a, a working ball. He's the, the one, the two, and one, the two, and the four. What well, looked like trouble looks like a spare leave now. Oh, it sneaks by the head pin. Not by much. Nine box, but 26 through three. And he's on the head pin for a strike. That's a big time for that. Nice flush pocket hit right there. Textbook Candlepin strike. Five pin falls last. Dean off Dean the head pin, another the working second ball. ball. It's a triangle in the left corner. That's one way to leave it. That's a tough piece of wood right up against the sidewall. He may try to go right by it. Cutting in, and he oh, does he go makes right it. by it. That is a great shot. Just by. I mean, we talk about a game of inches. At the, the centimeter to the left, and he catches that cap. He catches the cap, he gets nothing. He goes all the way by it, and he gets a timely spare. Let's see what he fills it with here. Flush on the head pin. Will he? Oh, is he going to carry the 10? The 10's really not going to fall. My goodness. Oh, wait, here comes a piece of wood. Nope. Uh, doesn't want to touch it. I feel like a breeze would take that 10 pin at this point. Now let's see which tip he chooses here. Going left. Oh, gives it a bid. Leaves the seven. Jumped it over the wood. It's a good 10. A spare 8-10 for 28 for the trip is a pretty good trip. It's a good way to start chipping away. However, Aaron St. Cyr working on the strike. Off the head pin, leaves the one, the eight, and the nine. A uh, piece of wood in front of the eight could be helpful. 
But basically, you got to drive this right back. And he'll pick it up for a 10. 55 through 5. Puts the lead at 10 pins opposite the 10 box from Dean Sullivan here. And he'll be off to the right and catch three. Boy, is this ever a tough one. Now it's that five pin that, that really kind of screws up the shot. Well, he gives it a go. Be happy with nine. Looks like it's set up for nine nicely. And a, and a nine box. Uh, so right now, the total lead in completed boxes is nine uh, by Aaron St. Cyr. It's, uh, although Dean Sullivan has a nine pin lead in the string, 73 to 64. We're gonna take a quick break to hear from our sponsors and we'll be back with the conclusion of string number two. Dean Sullivan coming up. Lane 33, he's got a couple marks so far this string. Seems to be throwing a little bit better of a ball than the first. Right on the head pin, leaves the check mark on the left side. Two, four, five, and seven. He has made half of the deficit back here at roughly the halfway point of the match. Nearly outside. Takes out the five pin, leaves the, the two, the four, and the seven. And we'll have a nine box, 82 through seven. We got the Easter Classic coming up, Richie. Coming up right around the corner, Jer. The ever famous Rays Easter Classic 20 stringer. I mean, this is this is an all-day marathon. Beautiful ball by Dean. Leaves the kingpin. Let's see if he has an. Does he have a window? He I, might try I, to I go right through the a, hole. I think he has a window. Uh, but yeah, it's held right here, Lena Lanes, Nashua, New Hampshire. It'll be on April 17th. And he makes a shot. Great shot by Dean. Uh, entry spots are limited, so please uh, sign up now. You can sign up on their website, LidaLanes.com, or call Lexi or Matt at 603-889-4884. Uh, it is probably one of the longest running tournaments that are still running right now. Oh, it's been around for quite a while. Aaron off the head pin, leaves the one, the two, and the four. It's a great tournament, it's a blast. It's absolutely grueling, but they take great care of us here at Lita every time, so it's always a pleasure to come back every year. I Chops through the two pin. I try to go by, try to make it clean, don't blame him. The old nine and a half. Opposite Dean's mark. Now if you ask Aaron who his favorite bowlers are, he lists, he lists uh, Gary Carrington or Jeff Surratt. Oh, so or Jeff Surratt, wow, so. I, I guess next is Babe on his list, right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, well, we'll have to get the Babe back out and uh, get him on the program. Uh, I, I guess we do. Let's see what the kid can give him. So we'll settle for 10 there. 80 through, 83 through eight. Dean working on his spare. So this is a big one here. He's down nine. Less the fill. And 
Well, both bowlers aren't exactly blowing the doors off of the place just yet. I mean, it's still a match. Yeah, we're still within single digits. Well, and that's a good ball. Looked oh, like, goodness oh. me, that's the 5-6. Yeah. Not, a, not a good result, although it looked like he might have dropped that a little bit. I, I think in a situation like this, you're, you're, you're almost bowling for a 10 box. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And we'll have a nine. So he's at 109 through nine. So all that said, he's happy with the count. 27 is always a good pair. You know, that's, that's a good two boxes. That's a, a 135 average, you'll take that. Yes. It also cuts the deficit to one through the completed frames. Right on the head pin again, another another tough leave. With the three, the six, the eight, and the ten. I got the three, four, six, ten there, Jer, and I don't know if the wood's gonna help him here. You know, I can't so Frank put this this monitor in front of me, and I, I stopped looking at the lane, and I'm looking at the monitor, and the angle is just completely different. So all of a sudden, I can't recognize what I'm talking about. All right, Aaron, let's see it, buddy. Come on. So Dino settles for a nine box and a 118. This is an opportunity here for Aaron to finish strong. Could find himself with a lead going into the last string. And a good first ball. Very good first ball. Unlucky to lead the six and the seven. Oh, oh he almost makes it. Throws it, leaves it off the, the wall. Seven. Yeah. Leaves the seven. Clean this up. It's about the only option there for him. And it'll be a nine box. 92 through nine. That could be a big pen. He's still holding on to the overall lead through completed boxes by one pin. And he is opposite the open, so this would be a good time for our mark here for St. Cyr. Yeah. Picks three off the first ball. Oh, makes a great bit at the spin. Bounces back nicely. That's a huge second ball. Ten would be gigantic. Really a momentum swing if you get a ten. That's really nicely done from St. Cyr. So he finishes with a 102. It's a two-pin lead so far for Aaron St. Cyr. He's 214 to 212. Is it two pins? So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back for the conclusion of this match. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron St. Cyr starting off the third game of this match. He has a two-pin lead. Is it going to be 10? Uh, it's going to be 9. It's got a nice piece of wood leaning up against the 5. And he makes it. It's a good start. You know, this is a weird game where sometimes you just you have these matches where nobody can really get it going, but it just becomes a battle of pinning. A lot of times in, t in matches like this, you kind of play to the competition. You see marks breed marks. You see open boxes breed opens. Doesn't matter if it's a race for 300 or a race for 400. Sometimes it winds up being good content. And we're up. Oh, wow, he got through the hole. I didn't think he could. Clip a cap or get by it. 
That's why I kind of equate it to like a pitcher's duel. Mm -hmm. They had a nice 10 bucks. Yeah, it's a you good know, 10. Not always the highest scoring, but still dramatic. Dramatic to watch nonetheless. Dean starting off, lane 33. Off the head pin, but still leaves the one, the two, and the four. Well, he got rid of the problem with the nine pin back there and turned it into a helper. And he's going to run it. Help it did. That's a nice shot from Dean. He'll match Aaron Spear in the, in the opening frame. Huge fill here, opposite the nine. Back on the head pin. Nine of his own. Looking at the five pin. It's got a nice open view at it. Oh, and he'll squeak by it. That'll be a nine box. 28 through two boxes. All told, three pins. Who's going to blink first? Great first ball. Gets the, gets the nine pin to trip. Leaves the 10 pin, piece of wood is rolling out. Rolling all the way out now. Thanks for a difficult shot. He's gonna go outside of it, that's and a great that's, shot. That is a great shot. Smart shot too. If you go too far right, if you go too far close to the pin or close to the gutter, that wood's gonna go one way and the ball's gonna go the other way. And you're gonna be having yourself a nice 10 box. So that's a, a nice shot by Aaron St. Cyr. And a timely one as well here, heading into the fourth. Head pin again. That three pin. Three sits still after, after all. And with the wired wood, boy, if he can just sneak by it. Oh, he gives it a shot. Beautiful what a shot, shot from Aaron St. Cyr. Does indeed. Sneaks right by the wood. Clips that three pin. Right on over into the four. Puts the pressure on Dean to keep it, uh, to keep up with him. Huge two marks. Dean with a good mix and ball. Oh, the eight does fall. The two looks like it wants to two fall. considered it for a moment. And then reconsidered. Leaving the head pin. And a 10 box. 38 through three, opposite Aaron Spare in the fourth. Nine pins the deficit now for Sullivan. Finds a head pin and a strike. Matches the mark in the fourth. Big strike for Dean Sullivan right there. One three pocket. Sayonara. Looking for $25 in bonus money. Head pin hit. We 
leaves the three, the seven, the nine, and the 10. How bad do you want $25? Well, you gave it a bid. All right, how bad do you want an eight box or better here? That is a that's difficult a trip. That's a top six box. 67 through through five boxes. Leaves the door open for, for Dean Sullivan. Oh, it certainly does. That's a, a, a total change in the winds. another ball in the pocket. And again, nothing really to show for it. Wood's gonna stick around, but boy, good luck carrying all three here. Right side of the cap's the only chance you have. Oh. Looking to grab a couple pins. Now it's really damage control time. Nine box would be a, a moral victory here. And it's gonna be seven, That's so. Tough, tough couple boxes for Aaron right there. Dean working on a strike. He's got two bonus balls here. Just want to let everyone know that this third string is brought to you ad free by Alley Chat. Uh, definitely visit their YouTube channel, click on the little bell, like, subscribe. Dean looking for the double. Put a good bit on the double, leaves the seven pin. Piece of wood on the deck, but that's just nothing but something to look at. Uh, I think I think Aaron's a, not breathing a sigh of relief just yet, but it definitely helped. Uh, 10 box. Well, it eases the tension a little bit after having a, a couple of tough boxes like that. But yeah, visit Alley Chat's uh, YouTube channel. I can't, I can't even begin to guess how many hours of of old Channel Five videos, Channel Fifty videos, Comcast. You could find local house bowlers that you know names that you might not remember, names that you needed reminding, blast from the past. You know, maybe even you learn a, a new bowler or two, or you know find yourself a new fan of somebody that was bowling back in the 80s. We've got it for you there. You can find all, all sorts of neat stuff. Oh, the wood came off the wall almost. Almost took out the five. So yeah, hit us up on Alley Chat. Click that bell, subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe. All that stuff. It's a nine box. 76 through six. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that puts us all square. We are all square. Four boxes. Winner advances to the finals here. We should mention the finals. The winner will walk out of here with $2,000. $2,000 to the winner. So we're not bowling for, for pennies here. And these guys know this. St. Cyr with the 2-7. Goes outside. And oh, and he, he makes, makes it. it. What a clutch shot for Aaron. Beautiful shot by Aaron St. Cyr. Outside of the 2, right into the 7. Looking for a big fill right here. Finds the head pin. Uh, goes through the middle. He's been consistently on that head pin. Gonna have to work hard here. Three may get him five. He's gonna have to play the three pins. Yeah, if that wood keeps rolling back a little bit. Hopefully that, that will help. Gives it he a bid. That was three. that was not the pin I expected to be standing still. Huge, huge pin here. Nicely done, nicely done. And a good 10 box. That'll put him at 99. And with that mark, it's going to force Dean to, to have a mark at some point. Finds the front one. Beautiful ball on the 1-3. Oh, he didn't want the 5-pin to fall. No. Oh, it turned it into the backwards half Worcester. 
Now he's got the two and the eight. What a shot really unfortunate break. That's a shot that's a lot easier to hit with a full rack. Woody, he's going to give it a bid. Oh. oh, I mean, you have to be absolutely perfect to make that shot. Plus and 10. A good, and a good 10 box. Still has the opportunity here. So if, Still you look time. At it, if you look at it this way, he was opposite the 10 box here in the eighth. So that cancels that out. All he needs is a mark five to stay even. So, you know, that's how he has to look at it. He knows he needs a mark. Whether it's now or later is irrelevant, but boy, he'd like to have it now. Wait a second. Some help on the deck. Yeah, plenty of help, really. It's just a two-pinner now. This one's pretty if it goes. Outside, he makes it. it. It's a beautiful shot. Timely shot from Dean Sullivan. That is clutch. And here we are. My, how the turntables. Here we are again, down to the last two boxes. Wouldn't have it any other way. Whoa, oh, wait a second, no. there's 10. Eric comes back with a strike of his own. He's gonna make him work for it. Well, he's got another one. Well, this is, this he's is got the big another, one here. He's got another ball to fill. You see, that's why you get two, and boy, is this a big one. Do you go for it? Do you get the count? Let's see what he does here. He's going to go for the count. Not you a know bad what? idea. He's got to be sure of a couple here. Just seven. Another tough seven box, 123 string. So that'll give Aaron 337. And that'll require Dean Sullivan to get to 126. He is at 96 and a ball entering the ninth. out four leaves the check mark on the left and two on the right the two four five six seven ten he doesn't have to make this but he needs count oh, that one got away needs as many as he can here it's not over yet And he'll get the seven. So it'll be seven. 107. He's gotta have him, he's gotta have a mark. He requires 17 to tie, 18 to win. Another one, right on the head pin, triangle on the right side. You got the, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine and the 10. I'm sorry, it's 18 to tie, 19 to win. At either rate, he has to make this. Oh, he's he gonna make it! it! He's gonna make it! Oh, that looked Oh, and it hangs on the channel. That. Oh, it hung on the gutter. That pin looked so good heading over. And oh, my nine goodness. Nine bots, 116. A 337 to 328 victory. Aaron St. Cyr over Dean Sullivan. He will move into the finals to face Brian Fuller Jr. Wow. That, you, you ask somebody to make, make such a difficult shot cleanly like that, and he does it and throws it all the way over only to leave that last piece of wood, his last breath of fresh air to hang in the gutter, hang in the channel just to touch the seven pin. That's a brutal way to lose. Yeah. Another, another fantastic match. Uh, we'll be back to uh, talk to the bowlers.
And for the third time in a row, we've had a great finish uh, to this match. Uh, Aaron St. Cyr edging out Dean Sullivan, 320, 337 to 328, uh, $50 in bonus money. It just seemed like it was one of those matches that it was tough for either guy to get going. And you know that feeling when one guy starts to throw marks, the other guy starts to throw marks. Sometimes it works in the opposite, in the opposite manner. Uh, yeah, absolutely, it, it does. Uh, sometimes marks can be contagious, and sometimes open boxes can be contagious. We saw a lot of back and forth tonight, uh, uh, today from our bowlers. Uh, let's bring both of our bowlers up. Uh, we'll start with Dean Sullivan here, our runner-up uh, here in the semifinals. And uh, Dean, uh, you bowled awesome, bud. Uh, we've got uh, $525 for you today. We got $500 for your third place finish, and we got another $25 uh, for winning a string as well. So uh, that's for you. So we appreciate you coming out. Um, great, great show, great, great, great people. Always be there. Yep. And uh, uh, what were your thoughts on the match? Uh, it was, it was uh, difficult for both of you guys to get going. Uh, it seemed like ne neither of you really could uh, find a rhythm. Uh, until it was a little bit too late there. Uh, we were getting the splits. Um, we made some good shots, some we missed completely. Other than that, it was just the kid did it when he needed to, and that's it. That's how it goes. Yeah, that sounds about right. He has bold clutch. And let's bring up our winner today, Aaron St. Cyr. <laughs> Dean, thanks again for bowling with us, and we look forward to seeing you next Pleasure, time. Pleasure, guys. Pleasure, of course. Good bowling, Aaron. Good bowling. And uh, uh, Jeremy, take us home here with Aaron. Great, <laughs> great, great job, Aaron. Made another match that comes down to the last couple boxes. I mean, you made some big shots in the last four boxes. So you went spare in the spare in the seventh, spare in the in the ninth, or strike in the ninth, I should say, to put all the pressure on Dean to finish up. Uh, what are your thoughts going into those last couple boxes? I had to mark. I just got to get as many pins ahead as I could. Um, try to get it without a reach, but he made it a close one. Uh, he got gypped on one of those spare shots that he had. He should have had it, but hey, it's all down to the last pin, just like it always is. So, yep. And you get to face Brian Fuller Jr. in the finals. Uh, winner takes home $2,000. Runner-up gets $1,000. So hopefully, let's see if that one can come down to the last couple boxes. All right. We'll see you guys next week.